Well, folks, for the first time since last December, in which he tore his ACL against the New England Patriots, Kyler Murray is back and set to rejoin his teammates on the practice field. I'm Johnny Venerable, PHNX Cardinals, and Monty Austin for Jonathan Gannon and Kyler Murray. Everybody's on the same page. He will return and have his pup window open this coming week. What does that mean? How does it relate and factor into Kyler Murray playing NFL Sunday football? Let me explain. Coming off of the pup, you have three weeks a team does to activate that player onto their 53-man roster. If they fail to do so after three weeks, that player is subsequently lost for the remainder of the season onto injured reserve. So I think we can all agree that's not likely to happen, but that does give the Cardinals an ample time period to say, okay, Kyler Murray, you are part of the 53-man roster. Let's see what you've got at practice over these next three weeks. Now, we have been told here at PHNX Cardinals, the Cardinals themselves would like Kyler Murray to complete at least two weeks of practice in preparation for a Sunday game day, which means that you can immediately remove the likelihood of Kyler Murray playing week seven against the Seattle Seahawks. That will be Joshua Dobbs. What about the following week? Week eight at home against Baltimore. I would say 50-50, pretty good chance of happening, but we'll see. I would also say, do not discount the idea if the Cardinals feel it's appropriate to activate him week nine against the Cleveland Browns, which is on the road, stash him as quarterback two or an active on game day in preparation to make him active for a very soft landing spot at home against the Atlanta Falcons, pretty marginal defensive team, week 10 at State Farm Stadium. Do not discredit that opportunity for Kyler Murray and Jonathan Gannon to come back with their franchise quarterback week 10 against Atlanta. For everybody in our mentions, everybody talking about, well, what about Joshua Dobbs? He turned around and started against the commanders. He'd been here for like half a day. Joshua Dobbs went through a training camp. Joshua Dobbs went through a preseason. He had been through off-season team activities, albeit with another franchise in Cleveland. Kyler Murray has not participated in a team practice circa 2020, 2022 when Cliff Kingsbury was the head coach of this franchise. So while he's in tremendous shape, he's itching to get back, he will be back this week on the practice field, football shape is different than rehab shape. Kyler Murray has not taken exchanges, as we know, from Yelda Froholt, the team center, under center. He's got to get his cadence going with the receivers. He's got to run a team drill, right? This is a new offense. This is a new coaching staff. It's going to take time, and subsequently, there will be rust. But the most important thing for Arizona Cardinal fans is this is the key pivotal first step for Kyler Murray to return part of the Bird Gang, part of the Arizona Cardinals on NFL Sundays begins this week returning to the practice field.